find out who killed him and where and with what. There's no need to shout. I'm not shouting. All right, I am. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. You are the best of the best of the few and the proud. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies based on toys. Believe us, Nicholas. We're looking at theatrically released or direct-to-video feature films that prominently feature real-life toys or are adaptations of the toy itself. We're also counting films that are based on the idea of the gamer toy, as well as those that feature video game products and trading cards. But we're excluding those films that only included toys that were inspired by the films in question. Wanna bet? Number 10, Kit Kidridge, an American Girl. Charlie Kidridge's sister. Yes, sir, I'm Kit. Introduced in 1986, American Girl dolls were designed to teach children about different time periods and ethnicities. Hello, sweetie. What's your name? Kit Kidridge. Well, actually, it's Margaret Mildred after my mother and an aunt on my father's side. But when I was younger, my father used to sing, Pack up your troubles and your old kit bag. This included Depression-era Kit Kidridge, who became the star of the first theatrically released American Girl movie. With the titular role played by Abigail Breslin, the movie focuses on the intrepid young Kit trying to solve a mystery in her hometown of Cincinnati. Sterling, the hobo sign for danger! The film's greatest strength is perhaps the fact that it provides a well-written, strong role model for young girls and its young female protagonist. Congratulations, reporter! You're in print! Mother! Dad, did you hear it? I'm in print! Number 9. The Wizard Nintendo's domination of the cultural landscape reached a peak when this fun but blatant commercial for their games was released. Nintendo game playing, this is Rick, how can I help you? In it, Fred Savage takes his brother on a cross-country road trip to a video game tournament, encountering Nintendo games and some less important human characters at almost every turn. Listen, Jimmy, you lost yesterday, there was one loss, one guy! In addition to serving as the American public's hilariously overblown introduction to Super Mario Bros. 3, the film remains a cult favorite for the character of Lucas and his NES control method of choice. Say it with us now, it's so bad. I love the power glove. It's so bad. Number 8. The Care Bears Movie You're next! You might think that a movie based on characters that originated in greeting cards was a desperate idea even in the mid-80s. But the big screen debut of the world's most caring bears actually turned out all right. You're right, Secret Bear. Our only hope is a Care Bear stare. As one of the first movies based directly on a toy line, this animated fantasy flick retained the heart and spirit of its namesake while providing a surprisingly dark, enthralling experience for its young audience. If that's not enough to make you care about it, it even helped revive the then dormant market for children's films. Number 7. Pokemon the First Movie Mewtwo Strikes Back. You're not gonna get Pikachu! Can anybody even remember a world before Ash, Pikachu, and the phrase gotta catch them all? Well, this film was released when Pokemania reached its peak, making sure no one would soon forget about the Pocket Monsters phenomenon that began as a pair of Game Boy video games. As always, Ash is determined to become a Pokemon master, and as always, he's ready to endure any hardship, bear any burden with strength, stamina, and a will of steel. The first Pokemon feature pitted Ash and his friends against the incredibly powerful Pokemon Mewtwo, who sought revenge against humanity for the experiments they did on him. Why can't Mewtwo understand it's not right to force Pokemon to battle this way? They're all living creatures. This just proves that fighting is wrong. Predictably, the film was a Snorlax-sized success, paving the way for a staggering 17 more Pokemon films in subsequent years, so far. For years we struggled to successfully clone a Pokemon to prove our theories, but you're the first specimen to survive. That is Mew, the rarest of all Pokemon. From its DNA, we created you, Mewtwo. Number six, Mars Attacks. What the hell is he talking? These flying saucers have come from the planet Mars. Imagine those 50s B movies that you and your friends love making fun of so much. Then imagine them done up with awesome special effects and a tongue in cheek style, and you have Tim Burton's bonkers alien invasion film. Die, you alien shithead! 
based upon the Cold War era trading cards, the movie captured the comic irreverence of its source and boasted an all-star cast that included Jack Nicholson, Glenn Close, and Annette Bening. Think how strong we would be. Earth and Mars. Together. And if none of that sounds appealing, then you can always take pleasure in seeing Sarah Jessica Parker's head on the body of a chihuahua. I just want you to know that I liked it. Number five, Clue. Then we go together. It was Professor Plum in the library with the revolver. Or was it? Maybe he was poisoned! <laughs> this 1985 cult classic remains one of the only faithful and successful adaptations of a board game, with beloved character actors like Tim Curry, Christopher Lloyd, and Madeline Kahn coming together to solve a murder at a creepy New England mansion. Sorry, sir, you cannot leave this house! No? Who's gonna stop me? There's no way out! All the windows have bars, all the doors are locked. This is an outrage! You can't hold us prisoner! Ladies and gentlemen, please! But where the movie really stands out in capturing the mystery spirit of the board game is with its three possible endings, where different theaters showed one of three alternate conclusions during its theatrical release. I suggest that we stack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, leave quietly one at a time, and pretend that none of this has ever happened. Number four, G.I. Joe the movie. Fighting for freedom wherever there's trouble over land and sea and air. G.I. Joe is there. We doubt that many of you even knew about this direct-to-video release based on the beloved military toys. But as some wise soldiers once said, knowing is half the battle. Released when the G.I. Joe toy line was at its peak of popularity, the movie depicts the climactic confrontation between the Joes and the evil forces of Cobra. Cover me! The BETs are only shot! Joe! While it wasn't released in theaters, it still serves as the most accurate adaptation of the toys to this day, especially in light of 2009's live-action G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, which topped box offices but was a critical disappointment. Man, we look good. Yeah, well, you better get used to it. Number three, Transformers the movie. New Decepticon shenanigans in your area! All clear, Jazz. And here we have the adaptation that traumatized a generation. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! 21 years before Michael Bay brought them to the screen in the most bombastic way possible, the shape-shifting Japanese-American toys were featured in a film where the stakes were bigger, darker, and more epic than they'd ever been. It was a good choice. In addition to serving as the final roles for both Scatman Crothers and the legendary Orson Welles as the Planet Eater Unicron, I am Unicron. The movie, spoiler alert, also burned the image of the tragic death of Autobot leader Optimus Prime into our minds. Soon. I shall be one with the Matrix. Number two, The Lego Movie. Good morning, apartment. Good morning, doorway. Good morning, wall. Good morning, ceiling. Good morning, floor. Building a movie off a toy line that's been around for over half a century and with so many different incarnations is a daunting task, to say the least. That's the day every rule-following citizen gets a free taco and my love! Which is why this 2014 film is such an awesome accomplishment. Drink overpriced coffee. There you go. That's $37. What awesome! Directed by comedic masterminds Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, this movie is a frantic, fast-paced, visually wonderful sensory overload experience that brings together so many characters and icons from the Danish company's long, rich history. Relax, everybody. I'm here. Batman! Not bad for something that started off as a tiny 2x4 plastic brick. President Business, we're trying to locate the fugitive, but his face is so generic it matches every other face in our database. Diabolical. This is where we'd normally have some honorable mentions, but for more toy-based movies, be sure to check out our list of the top 10 worst movies based on toys instead. Spare me this mockery of justice! Number 1. The Toy Story Franchise Sorry, howdy, my name is Woody, and this is Andy's room. You can't really go wrong with one of the greatest film series of all time. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. If containing the first fully computer animated feature film wasn't enough, this story picks our franchise, more than any other, 
perfectly captures what it was like to play with your favorite toys growing up. Excuse me, I, I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. While the series features real-life toys like Mr. Potato Head, Green Army Man, and Barbie, the movies then created a successful toy line of their own, with real-life versions of characters like Woody and Buzz Lightyear. I just want you to know that even though you tried to terminate me, revenge is not an idea we promote on my planet. Oh, well, that's good. But we're not on my planet, are we? Toy Story is sure to be with us for infinity and beyond. You're flying! This isn't flying, this is falling with style. <laughs> to infinity and beyond! Do you agree with our list? Your bargaining posture is highly dubious. What's your favorite movie based on a toy? I'm sorry you can't recognize a good story when it's standing right outside your door! For more fun top tens posted daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh my gosh, I love this song! Everything is awesome.